Hi everyone, um, I will try to make this uh, video as quick as I can. One of my friends, he asked me a favor. Um, he told uh, he was talking about the last uh, modeling example that I posted in uh, Abaco series, and it was about drawing a three-dimensional um, uh, 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 three-dimensional truss. And the question was um, for the example that I explained, the truss was for our rectangular cross sections. Uh, what if the cross section of the pipes that we used was like circular instead of a rectangle? How can we deal with that? So I will try to answer this question through this video and um, it will not be uh, something with dimensions because we are interested about the procedure more uh, than to make like exact dimensions because I don't have even a skin for that. Um, so just be with me. I will start by creating, as usual, creating from part. So uh, we will create part one, leave it as it is, and it will be a solid and extrusion, and hit continue. Then we will draw the cross section of the bar, and let's assume that it started in three, zero, zero, and it ends in zero, five, for example. So the diameter of this pipe will be five inches, and I will draw the internal circle to be like zero and four inches so the thickness of the pipe will be one inch hit escape and done then you have to determine the depth of that cross section uh, in my case i will assume that the depth is 100 and okay and i will go directly from part to assembly and create an instance hit okay then um, to create a truss, I need at least three of these pipes. So I will still stick to the minimum number of pipes just to explain the idea, as I said. So I will choose linear pattern and I will select this instance then hit done. And I want to um, create a pattern in Y direction only. And the offset, I will say it's only 50. So hit OK, that's fine. So we have the upper and the lower pipes. Now we need another pipe in diagonal direction. So I will copy this one. Again, I will create a pattern, select this one, done, and it will be in one direction only. Let's say that this is 30 and OK then what i will do is to rotate this this instance so i will rotate it um i will select this instance then select the instances to rotate this one yes done and select a start point for the axis of rotation um it could be any point i will assume that leave it at zero zero okay then you have to select an end point of the axis of rotation so since I would like to rotate this instance in this direction, so actually I'm rotating it around x-axis. So the end point will be everything is zero, uh, except this one, give it any number, let's say 10, and hit OK. Then you choose to rotate it for 40 degrees, 45 degrees, and this is the result. We rotated, okay, now we can either do it this way okay we can either translate this instance let's hit okay first we can translate this instance to be here so we have a cross section from all dimensions or uh, we have intersection from all directions or otherwise we can do the following actually uh, we can move this instance to this direction, whatever we want. The easier for me for this example is to move the lower um, uh, pipe. So what I will do, I will translate the instance, choose this one, done. And what I will do is to select this point, which is the origin, zero, zero, this one. And I will move it in Z direction. Is it Z direction? Yes, it's Z direction for a distance of uh, 40. Okay, so we have an intersection from everywhere. Okay, hit okay. 
hit OK. That's fine. Then what I will do is to go to parts again. We have only one part, as we can say. Uh, I will choose this one. I will merge or cut instance. Uh, so I will create another part. This part will call it part two, in addition to the part one that we have here. Um, I will choose to merge both geometry and mesh. And um, I will remove all the intersections. And um, I will hit continue. Then I have to select the instances. I will choose all these instances and this one and hit done. So we created another part here called part two. If I will go to part two and in part module, I will find that this is the part that I have been created, which is very good to what I want to do, except that I have this part that it's that it's not I don't want it actually. Yeah, it's the same thing for this part. And if we take a look from inside, you can see that this is the wall of this pipe, which I don't want as well. Because in real life, what they are doing actually, they will cut it here in this thing. Okay, so how to do with that? Very easy. I will choose this icon, which is I, I need to create a cut and the cut should be extruded. So I will hit that. Then I had to select a plane the, uh, for the extruded cut. And I will choose this plane. Okay, then choose one of these walls, either this one or the internal one, whatever. And now I need to cut through this pipe. So what I will do is to draw a circle. Uh, the center of the circle is here and the, um, the diameter of this circle will equal to the internal diameter of this pipe and hit OK and done. And then I will cut it through it all, hit OK and voila, we did it. That's good. Now I need to get rid of this part. How could to do that? The same criteria. I will cut and I will select the same plane, just this plane and this edge. Okay, now, since I need to cut this part, I need to create a shape that contain that part. So I will start by creating um, an arc. This is, will be the center of the arc. This will be my start point, And this will be my end point then hit escape and i will choose a line i need to draw um, a closed uh, shape so i will draw this shape i will draw this line and this vertical line and this horizontal line another vertical line and close it here so everything inside this yellow shape will be cut in. and this is what i want so I hit done and cut it through it. Okay, and we get rid of that. So we have, let me do it like this. This is what we have. And this is what we want. It just, this inclined bar connected or pipe connected to this horizontal pipe. We can repeat that for this part here and um, we can just copy that part and mirror it for other sides to, uh, to complete our truss. I will leave the dimensions for you. So this is what I want to explain today in this video. Um, thank you for your patience and I wish that you um, like it. Have a good one.